welcome back to LA. So we are up bright and early this morning. We've come down to the breakfast area and we're the first people here, the first people up. It's a really cute little kind of outside area which I'll show you in a minute. And then inside we've got lots of things to try. So we've just gone for a whole breakfast selection here to fuel us up for the day ahead. It's looking to be a busy one because I think we're going to get ready. I need to dry my hair as you can tell. And then walk across to Santa Monica Pier and have a look there. Because we did kind of go halfway to it yesterday as you would have seen. But we're going to explore some more today when we have some more energy. So we're just going to fuel up and then head on out. And obviously we'll be taking you all along with me. from where we're staying in right at the top of Venice Beach to Santa Monica which is really really beautiful it's obviously got the famous pier with all of the attractions the ferris wheel etc and we're very early so it's quite chilled We've just got lots of people running so we're feeling like we should be in our gym kit running as well yeah we're just having a nice little mooch around I think it's quite nice when you get to a new place just to have a little wander and really get your bearings. Hopefully you can hear me. Because there's a huge tractor behind me. Just mowing up the beach. But yeah, we feel like we feel like we've missed the LA memo because everybody has a dog and like a really wacky way of transport. For example, exhibit A behind me. Is it even working? I mean, I'm not really sure what that contraption is, but it looks rather fancy and he's it got like two, yeah, sort of like a cross trainer slash roller skate slash bike. bike. Bit of everything really, so I feel like we need to hire ourselves a funky scooter to get around because walking just clearly doesn't cut it, does it? Do it? it. So yeah, I'm really excited to get the picture with the Santa Monica Pier on the horizon. Maybe we'll find a nice place to have a coffee or a snack because we did have quite a big breakfast this morning but when you're in a weird time zone still getting into it you're just hungry all of the time we're hungry all of the time anyway though aren't we to be honest so how are you finding venice yeah, beach nice, so far it? changing climate's nice that's the nicest thing so far very beautiful place isn't it? yeah lots of palm trees everywhere lots of palm trees very early and yet the sun's still out yeah no wind no, Basically that's... Basically no English weather. Exactly. It's very, very nice. Shorts and t-shirt weather. Yeah, we've got our nice summer attire on. And we're just going to have, a, a, have a little... Yeah, have a little wonder. Monica Pier, changed outfits because we've been doing a little photo shoot, although the sun is so harsh it's not perfect photo shoot lighting. But yeah, so I think we're going to have a little wander on here and then maybe find somewhere to have a little snack or something. Pizza. Yeah, maybe some pizza. And then we will walk back to our hotel, check out, and then we're actually heading to West Hollywood for the next two nights. So we're going to check into our new hotel later on this afternoon. We're just enjoying the beautiful sunshine and the gorgeous beach and having a really lovely happy time, aren't we David? <laughs> Again, 
so I can't remember what the last thing I vlogged was, but we have come to a place called Abbott Kinney, which was recommended to us by a guy that we sat next to on the plane here. And there was a pizza place that he recommended that we've just visited. Didn't manage to capture any of the pizza because we were so, so hungry. But we are now heading off to our next location, which is Hollywood. We have ordered an Uber, and it's a lot more expensive than I thought it would be. It's like $63 estimate. So it's quite a long way away. So I'm glad that we got to experience Abbott Kinney as well, because it's a really nice, kind of different area to Venice Beach. It's got lots of nice little shops, restaurants, and it's kind of got a different, I hate this word, but vibe to Venice Beach and Santa Monica. So I feel like we've done a lot this morning. I'll keep getting hair in my mouth, that's nice. Um, I feel like we've done a lot this morning and I'm excited to see what Hollywood is like as well. So we have made it to Hollywood and we've just checked into our hotel very kindly. They've allowed us to do an early check-in, which is always nice, because it means we can just dump our bags and then go and explore, because we're so, so hungry. Again, we're always hungry. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give you a little room tour before we mess it up and it's all strewn with clothes. It's a very, very cool hotel. It's like a party, sort of trendy hotel. Um, for all of the hotels that we're staying in so far, I just went on to booking.com, I was reading the reviews, and and Dream and the Inn at Venice Beach, which is the one we were at before, just came up top. So those were the ones that I selected. Um, and anyway, yeah, I'm doing a room tour. That's what I was going to do. I'm just waffling, going off on a tangent. So we've just checked in. They're really, really friendly. It's got a rooftop pool, I think, on level 10, like bar and pool. So we're going to go and check that out as well in a minute. Sorry, just clipping my extensions back in as you do so i'm gonna switch it around and show you the room so this is the room as you come in it's very nice bright spacious and modern got a huge bed there nice little curtain what's it leading to oh sneak preview of the amazing bathroom which i'll show you in a minute and then we've got a nice little sofa in the corner, a TV, an iPad down there, which you order all your food and drink from. And then let's have a look at the view. We have a view over Hollywood. Apparently we're staying in a really good location. It's like right in the middle of um, West Hollywood and we're right near Melrose Avenue, I think. We're gonna have to get our bearings again. But this is again, a different side of the bedroom. And then it's David over there. And then Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, okay, okay. You're on navigation duty then. And this is me and my outfit of the day, which is like my sixth outfit of the day. You must think, what on earth is this girl doing? How do I get this door open? Oh, okay. And then this is the bathroom. Now, I think this is the favorite, the favorite? My favorite bathroom that I've ever seen. It's head to toe, floor to ceiling marble. These amazing huge marble tiles and a lovely cozy snuggly dressing gown. We've got a big mirror and then we've got a huge walk-in shower with a rainfall shower head, I think. Rainforest, rainfall. And then another, is that another shower over there? How do you, how do you work it? I don't know what that little contraption is, but it looks very exciting. And then that curtain obviously opens out into the bedroom, so you can have a shower with everybody watching you, or you can have a little bit of privacy, it's up to you I suppose. So yes, we're just going to refresh again, oh it's got this cute little plant, that's really sweet. Um, so we're going to refresh and then we've been recommended a place across the road from here called Tejos. No, Tejos. Tejos. And we are fancying like Mexican tacos, guacamole. So I think we're gonna head over there and then maybe just go for pizza as well because you can never have too much food. So yes, this is home for the next two nights. And then we move on to downtown LA and we're staying in the starting point for our Trek America tour. So I think this is like the last bit of luxury so we're going to enjoy it because the the next kind of week or so will be budget lodging 
um, which we're excited to do because I, I mean I've never really been camping um, I'm not like a huge adventurer but this is really really exciting because it is going to be a huge adventure so we're going to enjoy our marble tiles because in a few days time these will be replaced with grass we have come to Trey Joe's Tacos Tray I still can't say Tray it hose. Tray Hose and um, it's the chain of taco Mexican food that um, I'm sure you'll recognize the guy if you google him he's like a Hollywood actor he's been in I know him from Spy Kids but I'm sure he's what else has he been in quite a lot of films to be honest but he basically set up oh hair in my mouth again um, he basically set up a chain of taco bars or Mexican restaurants and apparently the food is incredible they're doing really well so we're gonna try it out we're gonna head on in hopefully we can get a table because it looks quite busy actually guacamole in America I think. So this is our Mexican feast. I've got a jackfruit burrito which is vegan. We've got a jackfruit taco, a blackened salmon taco and David has a grilled chicken burrito so I think you should unwrap it and take a bite so that I can film you because it looks really good. Oh. Look at this, doing it like a pro. Yeah. I know. Oh wow, it's quite a hefty burrito, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. That is really good. Nice and lots of filling. It tastes very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Has it? So it's now about six o'clock. I've had a little nap because I wasn't going to be able to survive until later today without one. So I'm feeling quite refreshed. I've redone my hair and my makeup and I'll show you my outfit in the mirror because I quite like it and David says he likes it as well. So this is my outfit. I've got a one shoulder um, crop toppy thing on. This is from Pretty Little Thing and it's got, what did I say one shoulder? Is that right? One arm which I don't normally wear, but I quite like it. And I like the little like frilly um, top bit. I'm still not quite awake yet. I've just woken up. And then I've got this skirt on, which is like a gingham black and white checked skirt. I actually got this free with the magazine like 10 years ago, free with Elle magazine. And I, I wear it a lot. So that was a very good little steal. And then these are the Stuart Weitzman boots that I bought from you will have seen them in my Bista village outlet shopping come shopping with me vlog so I will link that down below if you haven't watched that because it's a video where I pick up some very very cool designer finds so yes this is the outfit and then I've done my hair in a kind of half up half down space bun style although I don't actually have enough hair for space buns so I've had to make do with whatever this is and I just thought it was a bit different for from what I usually go for. I can't speak, as you can probably tell. And then I've also got these like Diamante hoops from Pretty Little Thing. These are amazing, they look so high quality. And they're five pounds, I think, from Pretty Little Thing. So really, really good. And then this necklace is the beautiful necklace that David got me for our anniversary about two years ago. So that is the outfit. Oh, and this is a um, Monica, Veneda bracelet, Monica. I always get this wrong, but it's so, so beautiful. It's like a rose gold bracelet. It's not gonna focus. So that is the plan for this evening. We're gonna head up, have a look at the rooftop 
pool and the bar there i think it's called the highlight room and we've heard it's amazing i've seen pictures on instagram and on google so that's where we're gonna head and then they also have a pizza restaurant here apparently the pizza is like new york style huge slices of pizza and they also do a vegan one with a cauliflower and chia seed crust so i think that's the plan for tonight quite a chilled but exciting evening Are you excited for it david very excited david hasn't had a nap he's just been filming me sleep talking and him irritating me while I've been asleep, haven't you? That doesn't sound like me at all. You look really tanned, actually, you look like you've caught the sun. What, in the, in the vlog, in the video, or in the camera, in real or life. real life? Yeah, I haven't caught the sun at all, because I've, got, I've had makeup on the whole time. Well, that's the downside, still wearing makeup, I know, isn't it? and I've changed about 40 times today as well, but yeah. it's fine, we're gonna head up and explore. <laughs> a little pizza restaurant just around the corner from the hotel for a little late night dinner although it's not really that late it's like nine o'clock and we've ordered the vegan pizza so we've got roasted veggies and pineapple we've got marinara sauce and then you can see the little sneaky vegan cheese poking out there as well and then the base is cauliflower and chia seed so we're going to share this one it's actually bigger than it looks on camera um, which it should be because it was like $21 for this, but we're gonna enjoy it, aren't we? We are indeed. Let's get on with it. Mm -hmm. So, we're not going out partying like everybody else in Hollywood tonight. We are just back at home in bed, and I have put my hair into little space buns because I actually took the little ones down about five minutes ago and it had curled my hair perfectly. Which, if I can curl my hair without heat, then that is fantastic. So we're just sort of chilling out, getting into bed. We're going to stay up a little bit longer so we can kind of ease ourselves in. But um, next door have decided to have a party. So um, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting the early night that we planned for, but that's fine. We will enjoy their music because at least they have good taste in music and hope that they turn it off at 9 p.m. because we are complete grandmas but anyway I'm gonna say good night here and obviously I'll be vlogging again tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna be exploring Hollywood we're gonna be going potentially to the Griffith Observatory I can never say that word um, and what else we're we gonna be doing lots of cool things in Hollywood basically we actually went to as you will have seen quickly we went to the highlight room I think it's called which is the 10th floor of this hotel and it has an amazing view over all of Hollywood and you can see the Hollywood sign as well so we did take an Instagram you'll probably be able to spot the Hollywood sign in the background so I'll pop that here because it will probably be up on my Instagram already but yeah, I'm going to sign off here, say goodnight, thank you so so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow for another day of exploring and adventuring in LA. Uh -huh.